Let us next see about the food storage and preservation. Now we have learnt about the various methods of say storage of food like freezing, drying, boiling, airtight packing etc. Now these different methods prevent the growth of microorganisms in food and thereby save the food from spoiling. Now let us next see how the food protection and the preservation can be done. Now in food protection prevention of food spoilage by microbial growth and infestation by pest is called as the food protection. Now food preservation use of various preservatives to prevent for a long period of time food spoilage due to internal factors is called food preservation. Then food and drug administration. This is the government organization that controls and that controls production and distribution of food and drugs by their standardization. Now food safety and standardization authority of India FSSAI has been established as per the food safety and the standardization act 2006. So if any uh, tinned food or the canned food if you see there this FSSAI that label is there and they decide whether the food is used is proper or uh, with, uh, for whether it is passed by this by this uh, institution or not so such food which has been stamped by this fssai institution should only be consumed now next we will see about the food preservation use of various preservatives to prevent for a long period of time Food spoilage due to internal factors is called as the food preservation. Now first is here now these are the methods of food preservation. First is here free freezing. Now biological and the chemical reactions in food materials are slowed down at low temperatures. So inside the refrigerator the temperature is about 5 degrees Celsius. As a result, the food remains in good condition for a longer time. Then second one is here, smoking. Food is preserved with the help of smoke. Aluminium phosphide is used in this method. Then use of insecticide. Now melathenion, it is the sprayed on the gunny bags containing food grains or some injections are also available which is being put in the uh, which is being put in this uh, gunny bags then third one is here irradiation in this method the food is exposed to ionizing radiations such as high energy electrons emitted by accelerators x-rays gamma rays emitted by the radioactive isotopes etc this process destroys the microbes, insects, etc. Shelf life of fruits increases due to the increase in ripening period. The shelf life of potatoes and the onion increases due to slow down sprouting. And so you can see that the uh, potatoes and onions, they can be stored for a year also in the house. Then next is your next method is here the use of inert gas nitrogen gas is filled in a airtight packets of potato wafers and other foodstuffs thus preventing the growth of fungus and insects in them then use of preservatives natural preservatives some naturally available materials like salt sugar oil are used as preservatives in pickles, jams, murabbas, uh, peta, etc. So you know that in summer vacation, summer your mothers must be preparing mango pickles. So right amount of salt and oil is added to the uh, 
pickles in order to preserve it for a long period sometimes it is preserved for 2 3 years also then also it remains in a good condition then for preparing murambas the sugar is added so salt and sugar oil this can be used as a preservative while preparing murabbas and this one then chemical preservatives acetic acid vinegar citric acid sodium benzoate and some nitrate and nitrite salts are some more examples of chemical preservatives so they are used in sauces jellies jams and in packaged ready to cook vegetables and ready to eat foods etc these preservatives keep the food safe for a very long duration then next is here pasteurization this method involves heating up the milk or other similar food stuffs up to a certain temperature example milk is heated at 80 degree celsius for 15 minutes and it is and cooling it quickly this destroys the microbes present in the milk and it keeps for a longer duration so you can see that the the milk packets and all which you get it is bought from a very far away places so in the early morning it is distributed and then uh, so that milk which is which we get in the packets that is the pasteurized milk so now next we will see here this this one the microbiologist louis pasteur developed the technique of preserving the quality of food by raising its temperature to prevent microbial growth in the food now let us recall what is meant by adulteration of food now adulteration of food means mixing of now adulteration of food means mixing of food food stuffs with adulterant is called as the adulteration of food now here in the column table complete the column so in the first column the food stuff and the second column adulterant which is added to it is given so in milk the adulterant added is urea in red chili powder brick powder is added then the third one for in black pepper the seeds of papaya are added because black pepper and sea papaya seeds after dry, drying you can't make out both of them look same then in ice cream the paper pulp is added so the food is adulterated in this way too removal of some important components of the food example removal of fat content of the milk essence of the cloves cardamoms etc means these cloves cardamoms they are already being used and when they are dried again and then they are sold again so there the essence is or the flavor of this cloves and the cardamoms long and elaichi that is removed then mixing of low quality in edible or cheaper material or a harmful color with food then mixing of some mixing of some harmful materials like small stones fine sand iron filings urea dung of the horse sawdust etc so all these things are also done for adulterating the adulterating the food now health of all people young and old poor or rich is endangered by food adulteration different types of adulterants affect our health in different ways some adulterants cause abdominal discomfort or poisoning the stomach ache is there while some may affect the functioning of some organs if consumed over a long period of time or can even cause cancer in some of the food stuffs they consist of lead so if it is consumed for a longer time then there are chances that the person may suffer from cancer now how will you find out if the food has been adulterated now here for some food stuffs here for some examples are given and we have to find out whether it is adulterated or not or some tests are given for finding out the food that has been adulterated now first example is here milk now in milk usually the water is added now not in the packet milk 
that the other the milkman if he is giving you the milk at home then there are chances that he may add water to it so put a drop of milk on a glass slide and slightly incline it to the to spread the drop if the spread mark of the milk does not appear milky white then water must have been added to it then in red chili powder brick dust is added so take a spoonful of chili powder in a beaker add water to the half of the beaker stir it and leave it undisturbed for a few minutes if red layer is seen settled at the bottom of the beaker then it must be a adulterated brick dust or the brick powder then turmeric powder methanyl yellow is added take a pinch of turmeric powder in a test tube add a small quantity of water to it shake the mixture and add few drops of concentrated hcl the mixture becomes red on addition of concentrated hydrochloric acid and the red color does not disappear if methanyl yellow is present yeah now rava in rava fine iron filings are added so pass a magnet through the rava so iron filings adhere to the magnet and so we can find out so this so this is this is, so for the four food stuffs how to adulter find out the adulterant it is given same way the test different tests are there for finding out the adulterant 